Our story in Mint today is about something called guaranteed plans offered by insurance companies. Typically, the structure goes as follows. You are required to invest uh, premiums for a certain amount of years, usually five years. And then at the end of 10 or 15 years, you start getting a guaranteed um, return, a guaranteed uh, annual payment, which many people use as their pension. Now, there are a host of problems with this. Um, but one thing keeps them popular, one thing allows the country's banking industry to keep selling them to people uh, and earning huge commissions. So first, what are the problems with these plans? Well, basically the return on these plans tends to be between 5 to 6% post-tax. It's not great, especially when you're waiting for 10-15 years. If you can actually wait that long, you might as well take some risk and invest in a mutual fund and uh, you are likely to see uh, much higher returns than this 5 to 6%. Um, the other bit is liquidity. So this is totally illiquid. You can't just get out of these plans once you signed up for one. You're basically trapped. Um, and in fact, if you stop paying premiums, then your, your money to a large extent is forfeited. So, so you really are trapped. Um, the um, reason why they are so popular and then they keep getting sold is because of a tax arbitrage. So what is this tax arbitrage? Um, under section 1010D, the majority amount of insurance policies is tax exempt. Um, and in case of the competing products like mutual funds, uh, for example, debt mutual funds, they are taxed at slab rate. So if you have a 30% if you are in the 30% bracket, then you have to pay 30% tax. If you are even directly buying a government bond, you have to still pay tax at your slab rate on the interest. Um, it is an arbitrage because um, this tax loophole is the only thing going for these plans. Um, think about it this way. How do insurance companies pay you this guaranteed amount? They essentially invest most of the money they collect into government bonds. So the insurance company is getting the same return on the government bond as you would get if you had directly bought the bond. And on, on top of this, they have all kinds of running expenses, right? They need to run the company, so they have administrative expenses. They pay vast amounts of commission. All of this eats into the return that they earn from government bonds. So if the government bonds are offering, let's say, 7.5%, the return that they will actually give you is 5.5% because that 2% is is eaten away by costs. Despite this eating away, um, insurance uh, companies are still able to offer you a better post-tax return than the competing products like debt mutual funds or directly buying government bonds because those products don't enjoy this tax loophole. The government has partially plugged it. They have said if your premiums exceed over 5 lakhs per year, then you don't get this benefit. But Five lakhs is a pretty generous limit, especially if you think of the way people plan this out. So if they have a family of four people, then each family member will put aside five lakhs, 20 lakhs a year, which is substantial, right? which covers a lot of uh, quite wealthy people. Um, so essentially, the government is subsidizing the insurance industry. It is subsidizing. Um, it, it's offering, uh, it, it's giving up its tax revenue so that the insurance industry can thrive. Um, and it's not a leveling, level playing field. I hope that the government plugs this loophole and brings all financial products at parity. But until this happens, unfortunately, this tax loophole persists. Insurance guaranteed plans do offer better post-tax, marginally better post-tax returns than if you had invested in directly in government bonds. Please note that... Um, if you can even take the slightest bit of risk and invest in a mutual fund, you would, in most likelihood, you'll do better because um, equity does better over long periods of time. But if you're totally risk averse, if you just have to have this guaranteed income, then yes, uh, the, these plans are still competitive, unfortunately, due to a tax loophole. Thank you.